Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this awesome wormhole optical illusion in Adobe Illustrator. It's not too hard to do, but it does take some time. So let me show you. Let's begin with the artboard that's 1920 by 1080 pixels. Start with the line segment tool and click anywhere on your artboard and make a line that's 200 pixels long. Zoom into it, make sure that it has a black stroke and it has a stroke thickness of about two points. Then select your line, hold Alt and Shift, and move it down about four pixels. Then press Ctrl D or Command D, or just hold Ctrl or Command and D, and you'll duplicate the object multiple times. So I'm just holding it both until you've made about this many shapes across your artboard. Go into your SWAT symbols panel right here and select your object and drag it into there. This box will pop up, just press OK. Cool. Now let's make our wormhole. Select the ellipse tool, click once, and make an ellipse that's 400 by 400 pixels and press OK. Good. Now make sure that this has a stroke that's a different color than this one right here. So I'm gonna make it a pink. Just make sure it's not black, that's very important. Then press A and select this point on the right, not on the left, it has to be on the right, and press delete. Cool. Now select your object, the entire thing, go to Effect, 3D, Revolve, and we've created our wormhole. Now we're gonna change the angle of this a bit. We're gonna choose negative 90 for up here, negative 35 for the next, and zero degrees right here. So it's a bit tipped towards the side, so we can kind of see it going in. It's pretty cool. Good, now we're gonna to go to Map Art, and you're gonna see right here all the different surfaces. You're gonna choose Surface 2 first, and then click on the symbol, and go and select the symbol that you made. I just made it twice right here. So just select that one, and then click Scale to Fit, like that. Then go to the next surface, Surface 3, and again, choose your symbol, and click Scale to Fit. And there we go. The next thing you have to do is click Invisible Geometry. This is gonna get rid of the pinkness, and we're gonna press OK, and then we're gonna press, we're gonna choose No Shading. This reduces some of the lines a bit, and then press OK. Cool, now let's work with our shape. We're gonna do this by selecting our shape and going to Object, Expand Appearance. Then select the left-hand side, right-click, and go Ungroup, right-click, and Ungroup again, then right-click, and, and at this point, you should right-click, and release the clipping mask, like that. Cool. Now, we're going to ungroup, I think, one more time. I think so. And then we select a whole bunch of shapes like this, and press delete. Yeah, that's good. And you're gonna select these shapes up here, just press delete, and these shapes down here, delete. They'll all be grouped together. And then we're gonna get rid of this kind of double line that we see right here. You see that we have this straight line that goes and then this other duplicate. We're just gonna select that duplicate right there. So I've selected it and press delete. And that cleans it up pretty well. Then let's zoom into this bit and we're gonna start deleting these lines as well. Delete. You can select a whole bunch of them. They'll delete all one. And we're just gonna clean up the shape now. We're gonna do that by deleting. Once you get to this interior funnel, you can just delete that, select it, delete that, and then continue deleting as we move in. Okay, once you get to this point, I want you to right click, release that clipping mask. And these ones, we have to right click and ungroup because we want to keep some of these shapes. And we're gonna do that same with the other side. So right click, release clipping mask, right click, or select it again, right click, ungroup. And then we can continue deleting them up until we get to about about somewhere right around here. Okay, because what happens is these lines are actually corresponding to these lines. So if we delete them, we'll also delete them up there. We don't want that. So just be a bit careful as you go forward right now. Now, when we've got to this point right here, we can't just delete it because we're gonna lose some color right here on the top and bottom right there. So we're gonna do a couple things at this point. 
We're gonna zoom in, zoom out a bit, and press Control or Command Y. This brings up our wireframe, and we wanna just make sure that we don't have any funny objects sitting in the background. You're gonna see a whole bunch of different lines right here. The only line I see is this one right here. So I can click on this and just delete it. I can click on this and just delete that. Okay, so it should be a clean shape with no other lines that we see sitting around there. We can press Control Y to get out of that screen. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select an area quite far out, like maybe up to here, and select all the objects to here, okay? So you can see all of this selected, most of these lines selected as well. Go to your Pathfinder tool, and we're gonna press Divide. Nothing should happen, that should be good. So we're gonna zoom in and right click on those objects that you just divided and go ungroup. Cool. Now, basically everything on this side, on the left-hand side of this, we can delete and it won't affect the lines that we see right here. So let's, uh, let's start deleting things. This might take a little bit of time. So that's mostly it. Now we're just gonna get rid of our swatch right here. Select our entire shape, hold shift, make it about the size of our artboard. Something like yay big. Press M to make a clipping mask, hit the corner, bring it up to the top like that. Select everything, right click, make clipping mask, and there we go. So I have to adjust that a tiny bit, bring it out to here, but you've done, you've done it. So don't worry about a lot of the small little bits. You won't see them when you zoom out, as you see right here. It does take some time to clean it up, but you've actually created the effect. Congratulations. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Uh, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. Um, subscribe, check out our other videos, and of course, as always, have a great day.